Good morning, Whitfield. I am Riley and Isaac, your morning anchors. Today is Tuesday, October 24th, 2023, day five. Here are important announcements for today. Today's lunch choices will be entree one, nachos grande, entree two, assorted parfaits, entree three, PB&J Uncrustable, veggie of the day, green bees, or chickpea salsa. Here's today's forecast, sunny with a high of 68 degrees. Today begins a nice warm stretch for a bunch of days. And next few days will be sunny and warm. A great time to get outside and enjoy the autumn weather. Whitfield welcomes another great watchdog dad. Thank you, Mr. Landrum. Mr. Landrum will be helping out in the school and classroom. Be sure to give a wave, fist bumper, high five, and say hi to him in the hallway if you see him around the school. Thanks, Mr. Landrum, for being our watchdog dad. Here are some pictures of last week's watchdog dads. It's Red Ribbon Week. By celebrating Red Ribbon Week, we are sending a message to yourself and others about how much you value you yourself, your health, your community, and your future. One thing is for sure, by making healthy choices, you are much more likely to achieve your goals. It is also a reminder that we can make an impact on our community by showing positive bravery and strength today to our community. Today we will be wearing our team shirts or jerseys or school colors so that we can team up against drugs. Tomorrow we will celebrate our uniqueness. Don't forget to wear crazy socks. Here's Mrs. Lukatsis with a practice update. Don't. Hi, Mr. Durr. Hi, Mrs. Lacazzi. You look great. You look really uh, You like... look bewitchingly <laughs> awesome. Thank you. But I have to tell you something. What? Do you know what is terrifyingly scary? No, what is it? Students that don't practice! Forget to register for our dance fund fundraiser at mybooster.com. If we raise 50% of if 50% of the students register, then all students receive a glow stick at the dance thon. Students who raise money receive booster thon prizes. The homeroom that raises the most money will get an extra phys ed class. Top 10 students who fundraise get con candy and breakfast with Mr. Curry. If we reached ten thousand dollars, then the top fundraised kids in each class will get to silly string Mr. Curry. If we reach fifteen thousand dollars, will Mr. Curry will dye his hair red for a day. All students may wear neon for the dance thon on Thursday, October twenty sixth. Here's a video from Booster Thon. Boosterology scholars, welcome back. We can't wait to see how your school is doing and what happens next with our world changer friends. But first, another Boosterology lesson in five, four, three, two, one. Scholars, at this time, you are well on your way to becoming Boosterology scholars. So Chelsea, let's check in with our booster book and make sure we've covered everything so that our scholars are fully equipped. Great idea. Lesson one. Scholars learn how to register on mybooster.com with their grown-up. Lesson two. Scholars learn there are many cool incentives for helping their school. Lesson three. Scholars learn they can share their mybooster.com page with family and friends. Lesson four. Add Astra to the stars. Scholars learn they can make a really cool student star video. Lesson five. Scholars learn they can take on the 50 state challenge. 
Well, that is everything. But before we can officially graduate Boosterology class, we have a few more things to do. And we have to see how our world changer friends fare. So let's unlock the next episode and see the final step in making a difference. One, two, three. World Changer Workshop. So the next step in making a difference is to launch it now. But what if our idea fails? What if we make a mistake? Like send a box off to Timbuktu? That seems unlikely. Guys, this is exactly what Trisha was trying to teach us. We can't let our fear or doubt stop us from launching our idea or making a difference in the world. Um, guys, we already launched the website. Wait, what? Really? Yep, we already have a few people signed up. Real kids in need of books. Well, what are you waiting for? It's time to ship. Oh no, the CTW machine is low on energy. Wait, are we shipping this box to Toledo, Ohio? Or Toledo, Illinois? Uh, guys, the printer's jammed. Why are there so many Toledos? It's too complicated. What are we gonna do? Holy Toledo, I'm ready to throw a towel in. Friends, I think it's time for your final lesson. My name is Winter, and when I was nine, my dad passed away from cancer. To honor him and raise money to fight cancer, I wanted to do something big. We love running, so I set the biggest running goal I could find, a world record. I was gonna run a marathon on all seven continents before turning 15. Yeah, this was gonna be the most challenging thing I'd ever done, and I would need grit to do it. When I was 12, I launched my idea and started training for my first marathon. At 13, one race down, six to go. I raced in Mongolia, Kenya, New Zealand, and Peru. It was fun, but really hard. Oh, that was a lot harder than I was expecting. To hit my goal, I needed to run two races in just one month. Plus, one marathon was in frozen Antarctica, and I didn't know if I could do it. Time was running out fast. I knew this is where I'd have to grit it out. Think of grit as toughness, sticking with it even when things are hard. So even when I was tired, I would push through because I had the desire to keep going no matter what. And it was grit that got me across that finish line. And I got to say, this is for you, Dad. Because I'd done it, I set the world record and I raised money to help stop cancer. And I did it all for my dad. On your journey to make a difference, you might face some challenges. My advice is to grit it out. It's the last step in making a difference. You worked too hard to let a challenge get in your way, so stay strong. Because I grit it out, I'm making a difference, and you can too. She gritted it out. You know, the Romans should have a Latin phrase for that one. Mm -hmm. oh. Gritty it is outus. <laughs> uh, I bet you can gritty it is outus just like winter. And scholars, there's still time to make a difference, you know. So if you haven't registered or shared your page, or created a student star video, or asked somebody for a donation from a different state? Grit it out, and do it a nocte tonight. Well, that's all we got time for today. I'm Johnny. And I'm Chelsea. Until, Until next time, time scholars. scholars. Keep, on, keep on wondering and remember to be safe, be responsible, be respectful, and be your most wonderful be your most wonderful self here at Whitfield. Please stand and prepare for the Pledge of Allegiance. Here is Miss Osterberry's first grade class with the Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America.